more birds than I've ever seen. I, I, the whole time I've been here, I've been here for 45 minutes, and they have not stopped pouring in. Like, birds aren't getting up and leaving. There's more just pouring in. When I look out there, all I can see is moving ducks across this cornfield for as far as I can possibly see. You know, when you get a phone call or a text message from a buddy that says, how fast can you be here? Um, you know, you, you try to drop everything you're doing. Um, we were put into that situation in early December. Ricky from CNL Outdoors texts me, says, how fast can you get here? And I call him and I say, well, what are you talking about? Dude, I've never seen so many ducks in my life. How fast can you get here? I said, well, you know, we'll well, let me talk to the guys and, and we'll try to figure it out. And we packed up and headed west to CNL Outdoors and uh, the next two days were some of the best hunting we've ever had, some of the, the most ducks we've ever seen. It was just an absolutely incredible trip. We've got a nice snow and ice line south, it's about 60 miles and it's really congregated these birds around us here. Uh, they're aggressively feeding in these fields uh, because of the cold weather. It's nine degrees this morning. Uh, there were a bunch of them in here last night, so we're hoping they come back. Just north of there to get a big snowstorm, first one of the year. So that's pushing everything down. It's all trying to get away from that. But you get just a little bit south of there, everything's covered nice. And birds will pick through some ice, you know, to get something to eat. But if it's if it's too much, they don't want nothing to do with it. So it was almost like they were just stuck in that sliver in, in southeast Kansas. And I mean, there was a lot of birds there, a lot.
all day there was ducks back and forth jumping from one pond to the other. One group would come in, another group would leave. Just every pond, it was a revolving door. I mean, you have a group of 100 leave because there's another group of 100 coming in. When it warmed up, you could tell the difference between when they were pond hopping and when they were ready to feed. A benefit to seeing all outdoors is you can hunt around the cold fronts versus booking with an outfitter months in advance. They log on to the webpage, they pick the property they want to pick and pick what dates. They can reserve it up to a month or two in advance or they can reserve it the day in advance depending on the weather. They uh, you're, Say a good start of cold front's coming through on Wednesday and you want to hunt Thursday and Friday, you can get on the webpage and book Thursday and Friday for the properties to try to hunt the back side of that cold front. Sometimes with an outfitter you run into where you're hunting on date instead of what the weather's doing, what the ducks are doing. But with us, you can get on there, pick the dates that you want in advance, but yet you can also change them or alternate your plans. What was holding a lot of these birds was a triangle of small ponds. It was two, three degrees that first morning, and it was amazing to watch these ducks work together to keep these ponds open. There was very little open water around, and what was open, they were working their hardest to keep it open. And the property that they had us hunting was right in the middle of this triangle, so it was set up perfect. Our featured products this week are lynch mob duck calls. We're using either the Jezebel or the Stranglehold Polycarb. The Stranglehold, uh, it's polycarb call, but uh, the difference between the Stranglehold and all other polycarbs is uh, it's poured. So the call itself does not have the lines at your normal polycarbs. Most people, when they think of a polycarb call, they think of a cheap, not as good sound in duck call, but you're not sacrificing any realism with the polycarb stranglehold. The acrylic Jezebel, it's perfect call for a variety of hunters and a variety of ranges. You know, it gets high, it gets low, it's loud, it's quiet. It, it, it's really just a very versatile call. First up is the Jezebel. <laughs> Next up is the stranglehold. <laughs> to purchase either the polycarb stranglehold or the Jezebel or any of Lynch Mob calls, visit www.lmccalls.com. And being in the inside of this triangle of these three open ponds, you know, offered us an opportunity to hunt the same spot back to back days. And it's not something you would normally do given the opportunity, you know, on a freelance hunt or on, you know, a hunt with an outfitter, a guide service that has multiple locations. You're not normally going to want to hunt the same spot day after day after day but this one gave us the opportunity to do so. The birds were not going anywhere. They were still keeping these ponds open. You know, rather than switch locations and get outside of this perfect area, we just kind of switched up the decoy spread, switched up the spot in the field that we hunted. And as far as educating birds and, and hunting pressured birds back to back days, it didn't matter. Well, as a member of CNL, we're able to uh, kind of play the weather and the cold fronts and time everything out, log on to the website, and reserve the properties and our pit blind that we want to hunt with the particular weather or wind condition that we're having that on that weekend or day 
that we want to hunt. And as our schedule allows us to hunt, it really allows for a lot of flexibility and uh, hunting opportunity. You couldn't ask for a better weather situation. Got the call from Ricky from CNL. Went down there and couldn't believe the amounts of birds. It was it was definitely a sight to see, especially some of the big mondo wads we had work in. It was it was definitely one of the hunts I'll never forget. To be able to go into the same spot back to back days and kill eight man limits, um, it was a product of the absolute perfect location. Being right in between all those ponds that had you know tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of ducks on them collectively combined. Uh, it was the perfect spot, back to back eight man limits, you know, the number of ducks that we saw, we might not ever see in one location again. Uh, absolutely incredible. A big thank you to CNL Outdoors for inviting us back. And uh, if you ever get that text message or that phone call that says, how fast can you be here? You better be darn sure to do your best to get there. It's absurd. <laughs> there might be 25 pounds of trash in there. <laughs> batteries. Pour some when the kids are in here? In, by far. <laughs> batteries, empty sandwich boxes, bags of chips, trash bags. Empty Gatorade, Powerade, sodas, energy drinks, coffee cups. I hope it's trash day Monday whenever I get home for recycle day. Because I'm going to fill up the recycle. Lifesavers break for every gift. The problem is you had to buy it before Christmas this time. You buy it the day after Christmas, it don't cost nothing. It costs them a dollar. How much was it? A dollar.